What were you doing age 14? My bet is it wasn't learning to be a racing driver. Well, we're here at Silverstone today to see if young Carter, Kean Dewis, can learn a thing or two from Jan Mardenborough, GT Academy star. Is he the next Lewis Hamilton? Let's find out. Kean first sat in a car aged eight and knew immediately that it was what he wanted to do for the rest of his life. In just six years, he's amassed 195 trophies and has five British karting titles to his name. So he clearly has the talent and ambition boxes ticked. But what else do you need? I think GT Academy realised that to be a good racing driver, you need to work on your sort of technical skill, what they do in the sim um, and out on the track, uh, the physical strength. Um, but I look after the mental side of things, so performance under pressure, recovering from mistakes, um, attitude, demeanour outside of the car, interactions with the team. Once they understand the rules of the mind, they can manage their behaviour a lot better. The hardest thing is you're always under scrutiny. There's always somebody wanting to take your seat. Being a racing driver in nowadays, you've got to have the full package. So you've got to be not only rapid on the circuit, you've got to be able to talk in front of a camera, you've got to be able to keep up the fitness, you've got to be able to you know, eat the right food. We would do initially some benchmark tests, so we would look at their body composition, so their percentage of body fat and lean muscle tissue. We would then look at their cardiovascular fitness, so their VO2 max, which is a, a rating that they get from 0 to 100 and actually how much stamina they've got in their body. Uh, we do a series of strength tests, look at upper body strength testing and also the lower body in terms of the braking element. That's all well and good, but what about pure driving skill? The use of simulators is becoming ever more important and almost crucial now in a driver's development. The simulators here are much more advanced than uh, guys playing in their own houses on the PlayStations, for example. Uh, you have much more feel to the braking, you've got uh, much more feedback through the steering wheel, but uh, the graphics are very similar, actually. The amount of time a driver spends on the simulator really varies depending on their experience. Uh, an experienced driver like Jan Mardenborough here will spend limited time on the simulator, primarily use it to learn a new circuit, which is what he's going to be doing later on today. But with a novice driver, you'd spend many, many hours because you can develop driving technique as well as just circuit familiarisation. So for a novice driver, you could spend days and days and days on the simulator and it would all be very useful training. So what do you want to learn from Jan today? how he's got to the top and how can I go forward, just like he has. Well, for Keon, he's never been on track before. It's his first time in a GTR and it's his first time on circuit at Silverstone. So I just want to show him you know, a good time and do a few laps around the Grand Prix circuit. I think we'll probably get up to about 150, 155 miles an hour. Should we crack on? Let's crack on. To give Keon a taste of what a fast lap might feel like, we sat him next to Jan in a brand new model year 17 Nissan GTR. With 562 horsepower and 637 newton meters of torque, in the world of digital supercars, there's nothing quite like it. Little break here. Jan doesn't hang about either. Uh, I'll talk you through a lap. I want to get the apex here, an early throttle. Don't use that exit curve too much. It's quite, quite aggressive. There's quite a lot of references for this corner. So you have the marker board, the start of the curb. In the GT car, it's, you know, it's around here. For a Formula car, it's around the start of the curb, the braking zone. You could be quite wide mid-corner at Stowe and still get a good exit. Very easy to lock a tyre here. You have the crest. Easy to lock the car without ABS. This is flat in a, in a Formula car, a single-seater, not quite in a GTR. This corner is really cool, really fast. Use the kerb on the inside, it's, on the outside it's quite flat. Take as much kerb as possible on the right. This is flat in a Formula car. Pretty handy, but today is about Kian, not Jan. So to warm him up, we handed him the keys to Nissan's latest Duke Nismo RS. Any fears of clumsy clutch control or erratic braking are quickly allayed as he shows competency by the bucket load. For the 
the next one. Try and do it. The whole course sliding. Rob has seen enough. He immediately ushers over the mechanics to switch the standard rear wheels for special low grip alternatives, designed to give the illusion of driving on sheet ice. All right. Now for the death trap. I'm just going to sit here like this. <laughs> just, just watch the carnage. Show us how it's done then, Jan. <laughs> oh, okay. With some guidance from Jan, Kian quickly gets the hang of it. His throttle application is progressive, whilst an occasional dab on the brakes slows the car gently. Oh, nice slide. Oh, he's got on, nice. I'm going down to first for this. That's good, good, keep, keep a balance there. Power, 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 catch it. Nice. Keen reckons he can tame the GTR too. Oh, go. Keen's got a few areas that he needs to work on over the next few years. I think you know there's some advice being given to him regarding fitness. Obviously, the media side, he'll be looking to to improve his media skills. But the driving side, he seems to have those skills already. So Kean's gone remarkably well today. You know, when you take a karting uh, youngster, 14 years old, and introduce him to some pretty challenging activities. You maybe don't expect too much, but he's certainly exceeded my expectations, and I think he's got a very bright future ahead of him. Kean clearly has what it takes. Do you think you could be the next F1 superstar? Let us know in the comments below. Whoa! <laughs> Start that out. <laughs> Not had enough GTR? Take a look at our old versus new video by clicking the window on the left. Or, to see a track battle between the Nissan and the Porsche 911 GT3, click the window on the right. Click the play icon for our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.